This is a toddler-sized unicorn kick bike. And this is one of the smaller countries of Europe that I'm going to cross with it. <laughs> Look at these tires. They are as done as I am. You see, a bit earlier, I crossed another country with rollerblades. Oh, this is crazy. That turned out so miserable, though, that I wanted to shake things up a little bit with another country and another means of transport to make a better experience. Good morning. I have arrived to the small country of San Marino. Obviously, I'm not going to use the rollerblades this time, so for that purpose, I went shopping yesterday. I went to search the coolest, most street credit vehicle. This would be awesome. And eventually, I hit absolute gold. Oh my days, this is amazing. Oh wow. Look what I found. I mean, look at this. Unicorn scooter. How often you can ride one of this? Two years plus as an age range, I guess I I'm valid. Maximum 20 kilograms. I might exceed that just a little bit. Judging by the size of the box, this is not actually very big. But let's put it together. My ladies and gentlemen, it is now finished. Holy moly. From here it is 16 kilometers to the other side. Turn on the music because we're about to fly. Oh, my, how do I slow down? How do I slow down? Oh, oh. oh my days. This is absolutely as bad for slowing down as my rollerblades. <laughs> this is kind of slow. To do the pattern. Buongiorno. Oh. Okay, this kind of mild downhills. Oh no! <laughs> I was about to say that they are not that bad. Oh no, I need to fix that. The journey started off very nicely and I started to try out the claimed immortality of unicorns. But unfortunately the bumpy ride started to have consequences very early on. Oh I have I have problems. I have problems. Oh no. Is this broken already? I need to ride very carefully from now on. The road across the highlands was very beautiful and I was actually enjoying the ride despite the size of the kick bike giving me some extra challenge. Ah. I was so dived into covering distance that I missed one crucial turn and therefore I was about to have some additional physical difficulty. Uh, what a mayhem! This is brutal uphill. Uh. I have to be honest, I'm cheating a little bit because this uphill is unbelievably steep and long. Oh look, a cemetery. I hope I don't end up there by doing this. After a lot of sweaty climb uphill, I started to approach a town that was welcoming me with the most divine refreshment the mankind has ever seen. Ah, refreshing. And then on to the next refreshment. Oh, pizzeria. Buongiorno. <laughs> I think it is a lunch time. They would not sell pizza before evening. But luckily, I'm having my own snacks. This is again the moment of doubt. I've come six and a half kilometers. Oh. My tires are falling off and I didn't get pizza. We'll make that happen. But just acknowledging the fact that the tires are not looking great. That's true. 
but what did look great were the laughing faces of many people <laughs> driving by. It gives me energy when people are happy seeing me do this. What's your name? Joona. Joona? Hi. Hi. Are you YouTuber? <laughs> yes. Where are you from? Finland. Nice to meet you. Hi. Uh, this video what I'm filming, I'm traveling across San Marino with uh, children's like unicorns. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Chiesa Nova. Chiesa Nova. To Roveret. Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hey, you can go in this way. Yes, yes, I'm going that way. Oh, good luck, good luck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it Have was nice day. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah. Have a good day. You Hi. too. But obviously every story has a beginning, end and a problem to overcome in the middle. And that's the part we're entering right now. Oh my goodness. Accident. Accident. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I just lost, I just lost the tire. Oh no. Buongiorno. Look at that. <laughs> I think, I think that was the end of it. Uh, I need to see if I can fix it. Otherwise, I don't, I don't think there's a unicorn scooter fixing repair shop, whatever. Uh. There we go. It is now fixed ish. <laughs> so I'm telling you, it's fragile. I was only halfway with a tearing up scooter. So far, it was staying in one piece, even on a bit more rough roads. But would it last all the way? <laughs> The funny thing about this scooter is that the tires can sometimes go like even like sideways. Uh, oh my days! Oh my days! Seriously? That's annoying. Let's hit the road and hope we don't need to do this any more. Do you think that's healthy? I don't think so. Ah, who cares? I'll ride it until it's broken again. Ugh. The tire is no good. I could make like literally like 10 meters. If I'm trying to look at this from the bright side, we have one tire less. Yes, but we still have two tires left, which technically means we can ride this thing. Although it's a lot more difficult. Yes, it works. Uh, we need now a tactical timeout. <sighs> We're still six kilometers from our destination. <laughs> this doesn't look like six kilometers. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to fix it one more time. This one is this close to dead. This might be the last time I'm fixing. Okay. Turn off. Yeah. My scooter is broken. I don't know what you can do. <laughs> so right, brother. Thank you. <laughs> we figured out we cannot fix this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, forget about that. So the plan from now on was to just manage with the remaining tire and hope for the best, regardless of the visibly low odds. And 
that seemed to work surprisingly well. This is unbelievable. I've been driving now <laughs> two kilometers and this little fella is just hanging in with the Holy Spirit. But even the Holy Spirit didn't stop the tires from wearing out. And soon enough, they were hardly spinning anymore. Three more kilometers. I am so tired. We have reached the point where we have to activate Yeah, I ended up carrying this thing for the last three kilometers because it just became too unrideable. But we are here in Italy right now. Come on. <sighs> we did it. And you know what? Technically, we have still crossed the country with the scooter. <laughs>